where do you see yeah. digital marketing heading in the future from here? One is I think, uh, you know, I, I think about the amount of marketing channels that are available today, right? And so a challenge that I think marketers are having today and will continue to have in the future is the proliferance of the amount of channels that are available at their hands to be able to make an investment. So you really, I think the next next phase is really around marketing automation and making sure that uh, you that that there's innovation that's going to happen there, and you take advantage of the innovation that allows you to manage that entire mix of uh, marketing channels that are available. So we actually have a practice uh, called Smart, which allows uh, companies to be more effective in their usage of these various marketing channels. Mm -hmm. And it's a very defined process and methodology with some of our proprietary systems that uh, we've been able to have, uh, that we've been able to build that allows us to monitor and measure the effectiveness of one channel on the, F on the other channels that are part of the marketing mix, right? And so that I think is going to be, is going to be a, an area where there's, there's going to be continued innovation and, and investment. Um, okay. Another thing I'll say is, and this may come as, as a little bit of a, as a surprise, is search. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows Google. They're the greatest search engine out there. Mm -hmm. At least many people think that. Uh, but I think there's still a lot of innovation that could happen potentially uh, beyond what exists in, in the search space today. Mm -hmm. And I think those innovations are going to uh, come about in very niche sectors where you're um, able to not just search globally, but you're searching specific um, uh, areas, so to speak, of the web or the specific sections of the web that are very, very targeted towards the kind of questions that you're trying to look for. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's, that's another area that I think is, is going to see a lot of shift and change in the next uh, five, 10 years. So thirdly, I think uh, an interesting challenge that we're all going to have as consumers is just what I call as information overload, right? And so if you think about it, um, you know, there's so much information mm. that you and I process every day. You know, it's coming from our Twitter, it's coming through email, it's coming through our social media channels, all of these different things. Now couple that with the number of people that we know. There's tremendous amount of, you know, I have a set of contacts at work, but then I have my personal friends, and then I have, you know, all, all sorts of people who want to get in touch with me for all, a lot of different reasons. Um, then you talk about all the devices that I interact with, you know, my, my cell phone, my Blackberry, my uh, laptop, you know, computer that, that I use at home. And so uh, what you're really seeing is that there is a tremendous amount of information, devices, and uh, people that are all coming together r requesting my time or any mm -hmm. individual's time for that matter. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm starting to see, and we're seeing this, we're actually, uh, there's a very interesting company called Smack based out of Boston that's actually trying to solve this particular problem of how do, how do I um, effectively partition and allow users to maximize their efficiency so that I can be in a certain mode and mm. kind of block away everything else. And so the most important information for me on the device that I'm currently using is available at mm. this moment, right? So it's, uh, so what, what I'm really seeing is, and I think this is going to evolve, is that we're going to see a lot of platform play on these various uh, devices, social media channels, information mm -hmm. channels, as well as uh, the networks that we build, both online and offline. So I think, um, you know, between uh, marketing automation and all the things that, that are required to help customers uh, manage their marketing mix, mm -hmm. uh, the innovation that's going to happen in search, and uh, thirdly, the innovation that is happening in some respects to help people manage the information that they're, that they're getting and the proliferance of devices. I think those are three things that you really, that I'm very interested in watching out and seeing what, what that's mm. going to be like in the next uh, five, 10 years.